Welcome to another Nikon N-Log tutorial. In my previous video, I talked about transforming Nikon N-Log footage into Rec. 709 color space using nodes in DaVinci Resolve. Now I'm going to tell you how to do it using Nikon's red LUTs, which are files that will tell DaVinci Resolve how to convert your Nikon N-Log directly into Rec. 709. In other words, you don't have to use the color space transform node like I did in the previous video. According to Nikon, these LUTs give your Nikon N-Log footage classic film looks with four genuine red LUTs. So how do you use them? Step 1. Download them. The LUTs are in files on Nikon's website, linked in the video description. Go to the link, click on Free Download, fill out your information so you can be tracked by worldwide governments, and click Continue. Accept the terms and conditions and click Download. It will download an archive file to your computer. Step 2. Add them to DaVinci Resolve. In DaVinci Resolve, go to File, Project Settings, Color Management, and scroll down to Look Up Tables. Click Open LUT Folder. It should open a new window. Create a new folder called Nikon and put the LUTs you just downloaded in there. Go back to DaVinci Resolve and click Update Lists. Also, if you're just working with Nikon N-Log, you can change your timeline color space to Nikon N-Log instead of Rec. 709. Step 3. Use them. Get some N-Log footage. I've got myself typing on my laptop in 10-bit N-Log. Put it on your timeline and go to the color page. Add a new node, which will be the conversion node. I also suggest changing the color of the node to yellow or something else that stands out so you'll always know which node is the conversion node. Now, right-click on the node, go to LUT, and then Nikon, and select one of the LUTs that came with the download package. Here are the effects of the LUTs. The first one is a basic conversion node with no artsy creative stuff. It just converts it to Rec. 709. The second is a low contrast black and white conversion. It's a good starting point for black and white film. The third is a bleach bypass LUT. Looks grungy and colorless. Perfectly matches advanced technological society. The fourth is a film bias, which looks like film. The final is a film bias offset which is like film bias, but has some split toning to make it even warmer in the highlights. Step 4. Adjust stuff. In the previous nodes, you can adjust tones, colors, sharpening, etc. And of course, you can add more nodes before for more complex grades. Make sure to keep your tone and color adjustments before the conversion node so you can work in wider color space than Rec. 709. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you again next time.